Okay, so section 5.7 of your book talks about parallel and perpendicular lines. Today we're going to just deal with parallel lines and we'll do perpendicular lines next week. Um, so parallel lines are in the same plane and they never intersect. And I will abbreviate it with that symbol, which means parallel. So the thing that you need to know about parallel lines is they all have the same slope. And all vertical lines are parallel to each other. So for example, if you compare a vertical line would be like x equals 7 or x equals negative 5, those two lines would be parallel to each other because they're both vertical. So example one says which lines are parallel. So what you need to do is you need to go through and look at each one and figure out the slope. So I'm going to uh, put letters by them because that will make it a little bit easier. So if I look at the line that's by A, what's the slope of that line? It's in Y equals MX plus B form. So yeah, it's 2. All right, so M equals 2 on that one. Okay, if I look at example B, the slope of that line is negative two-thirds. Okay, can we see what the slope of line C is? It's the three. So, so far, none of them are the same. So, I'm guessing that D is going to be the one that's like some of them. So. The slope isn't obvious on D, but what could we do to figure out what it is? We could subtract the 2x because what you want to do is you want to get the y alone. Get it into y equals mx plus b form and then you'll be able to tell what the slope is. So if we subtract the 2x, we get 3y equals negative 2x plus 8 and then you would have to divide by 3. So what is the slope of that line? The negative two-thirds, okay? We don't worry about the x when we're talking about slope, okay? We just look at what numbers are in front of the x. All right, so which ones are parallel? B and D. B and D. B is parallel to D. Okay, any questions on that? All right, so I'm going to have you do this next one on your whiteboards. No, you don't have to write any of it down. You're doing it on your whiteboards. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put an A, a B, a C, and a D. And you tell me which ones are parallel. Okay, so if you look at the slopes of the lines... The slope of A is 3 fourths. The slope of B is negative 2. The slope of C was negative 2. The slope of D was negative 3 fourths. So A and D are not parallel because one's positive and one's negative. But you can say that um, B is parallel to C. Okay? All right, I have another one on, for you guys to look at on your whiteboards. Okay, so take a look at those lines and see which lines are parallel. Okay, so if it's in y equals mx plus b form, if you look at a and d, there's no mx, right? So that means on both of those, your slope is equal to zero, which means it's what kind of a line? It's horizontal. Okay, so I know that A has to be parallel to D because they're both horizontal. They both have a slope of zero. 
All right, but then let's take a look at B and C. Okay, so looking at C, um, if I get Y alone, I'm going to subtract the 2X, and then I get negative 4Y equals negative 2X plus 8, and then I divide by negative 4. So my slope is right here. It ends up reducing to a positive 1 half, and that's the same thing as I had for B. So B is also parallel to C. So sometimes you might have more than one pair that's parallel, so you want to be able to check all of them. Okay? Questions? Okay. So this next one, it says, is JKLM a parallelogram? So do you guys know what a parallelogram is? No. No. Okay, what a parallelogram is, is it's a figure that has both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, so for this one, if I look at the slope of JM, it's going up 4 and over 1. So the slope of JM is 4 over 1. And then I go over and I look at LK, and it's also going up 4 over 1. So because those two have the same slope, I can say JM is parallel to LK. Then if I also look at the other two sides, the slope of JK, there's no rise at all, so it's zero. And the slope of ML is the same. There's no rise at all, so it's zero. And so again, they have the same slope, so I can say that JK is parallel to ML. And so because those are both, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, I can say, yes, it's a parallelogram. Now we're going to write the equation for a parallel line. So example four, we've got, we're going to write an equation that's in slope-intercept form. So slope-intercept means what? Y equals mx plus b. And we want it to go through the point 410, and it is parallel to y equals 3x plus 8. So we can use the point slope to get to the slope intercept. What am I going to use for my slope, though? If I want it to be parallel, what's the slope going to have to be? Three. Same as this one. It's going to have to be 3. So m is equal to 3, and then my x sub 1, y sub 1, I'll just use 410. So now I plug it into point slope. y minus 10 equals 3 times x minus 4, but we want slope intercept, so I get the y alone. I go ahead and distribute the 3, and I get 3x minus 12, and then I just have to add the 10 to both sides. And I get y is equal to 3x minus 2. So did I need that 8 at all on that first equation? No, I didn't. I didn't need that 8. So when they give you the line that it's parallel to, don't worry about the y-intercept. All you care about is the slope. So basically, with your parallel lines, they're going to have the same slope. They're going to have different y-intercepts. So they're going to cross the y-axis at different places. If I was going to graph them, the first one would have crossed at 8 and had a slope of 3. And then my new line crossed at negative 2 and had a slope of 3. So when you graph them, they look something like that, okay? But you don't have to graph them on the homework unless it tells you to graph them. All right, let's take a look at example 5. Now we're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form 
and it's going to go through 2, negative 4, and this time it's parallel to 2x minus y equals 5. So is that one obvious what the slope is? Mm, not completely, because the y is not alone, right? So if we want to be sure, we should get the y alone. So if I subtract 2x from both sides, then I have negative y equals negative 2x plus 5. And then you have to divide everything by negative 1, because if you still have a negative sign in front of the y, it's not alone. Okay? So you get y equals 2x minus 5. So what's the slope of that line? Slope is 2, right? So we're going to use m equal to 2 and x sub 1, y sub 1 equal to 2, negative 4. All right, why don't you guys finish that one off and figure out what the slope-intercept form is going to be on your whiteboards. Okay, so when you plug it in, you get y minus a negative 4, so it's plus 4, equals 2 times x minus 2, and then you distribute the 2, and you get 2x minus 4, and then we subtract 4 from both sides, and we get y equals 2x minus 8. Okay, here's one more for your whiteboards. You're going to find the equation that passes through 5, negative 3, and it's parallel to y equals 4x plus 2. Okay, so the slope of the original line was 4, and your x sub 1, y sub 1 was 5 and negative 3. So y plus 3 equals 4 times x minus 5. You distribute the 4, and you get 4x minus 20. And then we subtract 3 from both sides, and we get that y is equal to 4x minus 23. That concludes the video. Thank you.